Mehdi from Webshell uh, suggested me uh, the subject, API as a project. He thought it would be interesting because uh, Mailjet actually is a project and it's an API as a project. And uh, what I try to do is to think about, about the subject and uh, it's not, not we, I will not provide an exhaustive, uh, exhaustive thought about it, but uh, maybe have an overview of uh, the, the problems, what it means, and, uh, because what is an API as a project, in fact. Uh, is it only a fad? Is it we hear the term more and more often? Uh, or does it really mean something? So we need to define these words. We need to define APIs. You probably know what an API is, probably if you <laughs> API days. Uh, but we also need to define what a project is. And maybe we'll understand what an API as a project is. So API as, an, as a project is when your API is your project. This is what uh, happens for us. Uh, Twilio is another example. And uh, if I take the classification of uh, Freescale, they uh, made a presentation yesterday. Uh, it's not the APIs projecting, promoting, or feeding a project. Uh, projecting would be the Salesforce in, the exa in their example. Uh, promoting would be the Amazon uh, API to distribute some projects, for example. And uh, feeding a project would be the Twitter what we were talking about. So the, 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 the particularity is that our API is the project. An API, you know what it is. I'll switch to the other slide. Application programming interface. But project, what is a project? There, there are many definitions. It's, uh, it comes from the economy uh, at the, the beginning. In a general way, it's anything that can be offered to a market that might satisfy a want or a need. This is very general. It's a broad definition. So if we dig a little bit deeper, we can start to think, OK, what is the difference between between a project and a service. It's a historical, there are historical difference because we are just using terms such as SaaS, PaaS. So why not say, uh, you know, API as, as a service? Uh, the thing is that APIs are a service by nature. So a project is something more. It's something deeper than this. If we took back, uh, I told that project, the, the definition, the notions of project and services come from uh, the economy and uh, a project in the old days, it was a physical good. Traditionally, it's something you can touch and you can take in your hand, while a service was an action performed by someone. So when you were selling products or services, uh, it changed the way you were dealing with things uh, after the transactions. Because if it's a product, uh, you, once the transaction is done, you just need to deliver the product. While if it's a service, uh, it doesn't exist. You need to perform it. So Maybe this helps us to see more clearly what's the difference between service and project. A project is all about consistency. It's there. It's if, if, if I want to, if I sell a project, I can deliver it. It's right there. It's the, the, so it's, um, yeah, we, we take the can take the definition which she's taken from um, an article on Inc. Uh, who is talking about um, our friend uh, David uh, Ogilvy, who um, was always saying that yeah, my, my project, in fact, more or less, is walking out the door every day because it's his people. He's, it's uh, an agency, communication agency. So if you're selling consulting, you must have some projects. But in fact, the projects are the head of the people. Of the, they are the consultants wor working for you. So this is why he says to create a service business you can sell, do whatever you can to make your business have a project and have in a formula that predictably delivers results. It's that you have to go beyond the people and have someone that, something that works in a systematic way. So th this is why I would link the concept of project to the word consistency. And uh, something that you can deliver, that's something that is stable, systematic, reliable, and consistent. This, this is a, these are the characteristics of a project, I believe. Uh, uh, other I mean, I'm always, uh, another sentence I uh, thought was nice to sum up the thing is a project is a system that always delivers the same results. It's, it's always the same. It's a system. It's the characteristic of a system, in fact. However, a service uh, is not the opposite of a project, and a project can be delivered as a service. So th these uh, terms are not opposed in uh, today's dig digital, digital age. They are no longer <coughs> the, the, the definition because the opposition I was making between service and project it was only for the historical uh, definitions. 
today tangible versus intangible, it's, it, it doesn't work anymore. So we understood what a project is, what a service is. So API as a project is beginning to be clear. Are you following me? I hope. <laughs> uh, but there is another thing about uh, APIs is that it's your distribution channel. So um, there is a question, uh, how can it be your project and the distribution channel at the same time? It's a bit illogical. And maybe you would want to say, I I should we use the term <coughs> API for a project rather than API as a project. Maybe it would be l more logic because API is a mean for your project rather than the end. In fact, again, I, I believe that uh, because of the digital age, things have changed. And uh, if you take a concrete example, you will see the difference. For example, uh, the farmer that uh, sells corn, uh, no matter how the corn is distributed, it remains corn. It's not, the uh, it's not the same thing for MailJet, for example. We sell email delivery, and the a API distribution matters, and, and it affects the projects. It's completely related to the project, and it will the, the project will be completely different if there was no API, and everything is uh, fought toward the API. The project is the API, again, I'm repeating it. So maybe to be more concrete, it was a bit the theory. Uh, what it what it uh, takes to from a business perspective. So uh, I'm taking Majet uh, as an example because we are a product and we are an API and we are an API as a product. What happens is that API is the core value of the company. Uh, all the developers think and use uh, the API. They, they think around the API. It's, just, it's not just a process and a technique. It's a process and a technique, but it's not just this. It's a project because it provides a uh, very precise added value. We solve a problem, so it's very important. This is uh, the, the, the fact that it's, it's uh, so, so send, track, uh, and deliver emails. We do this consistently. And uh, third, uh, there is an ecosystem for API with uh, direct customers, resellers, hackers, etc. From the client perspective, it's a bit different. But, uh, so uh, he gets full access to brick of expertise for any use. He, uh, he can assess the added value at any time. You can see all the characteristics of the product. And uh, he can use the product uh, to build other products. It's a tool. And the objective is always to build a long-term relationship. I mean, we were talking about Twitter. And maybe I would come back to this. But it is very important if you are an API as a project that people can use you uh, on a long-term basis. So. Let's go to some characteristics that I believe define API as product. It goes always with an API as product, and at least should. Uh, typically, the project is scalable. It's, uh, you can also think about uh, maybe uh, Andy, <coughs> Rowell, uh, Andy Warhol, who was you know, with his serigraphies and playing with about the product that you can repeat, repeat, and the infinite. So the fact, that the fact of being scalable and being able to repeat and distribute, deliver the product infinitely is very important. This is what we do, and it's related to the concept of cloud as well. You must have an open API. Uh, we've, we talked about it. I asked a question <laughs> yesterday about it because I, I, I like the, 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 the fact of defining this. It's often misunderstood. What is a, an open API? It means available for everybody. Uh, it means publicly available. Anyone can access to it. You give the maximum to the developers. Uh, I mean, th from the company perspective, from a provider as we are, we, we give the maximum because the developers are part of our ecosystem. And the openness, uh, the more openness you have, the more it feeds your ecosystem. It's a virtuous circle. But however, open is not free. And uh, we were talking about Twitter, and this slide is a bit uh, nico to this uh, Twitter story. If uh, an API is free and yet that you don't understand how, uh, that you don't pay and you don't understand how the company who provides it makes money, then it means that, you know, uh, how re reliable is the service with no revenues? How, what will they be doing in a few years? And if you are using them to build a project, you are using them as a tool. It's even worse than that. You are using them as a brick. So it's not only a tool, it's something that is building your own project. You want to know <coughs> that in several years they, they have a viable business model and that they will still be here in several years. And if you build something on Twitter, 
in a few years ago or oh, uh, today, you're just like a VC. You, you just, it's a bet on the future, but you don't know what it, what it will be. So I believe the API as a project must have a clear business model and that the user must understand uh, how the money is made. Because otherwise, no visibility for the future. Also, the product means marketing. It's uh, related. I mean, it's you can you can think about you always think about Procter and Gamble, for example. So yeah, the product is marketing. It's packaging, etc. So on our side, we believe a lot in the force of freemium, and it's pretty important and pretty power powerful uh, because the users can just test the project, they just connect to our API, and they can start running some things. They don't pay for, uh, for a certain volume of email. And this means that it, they, they can just test and uh, fool around with the API, and it's very easy to, to convert some, con some customers and activate some customers like this. So the freemium, uh, I believe, for API as a product, because the thing is that API is also distribution. It, it doesn't cost much to do a freemium um, premium model because you distribute through the API. So uh, I would say it's a best practice. Mm. The pricing as well, uh, we talked about how the, you, you must understand how the API as a project makes money to, to make sure it's reliable and that it will still be here in a few years. But the pricing needs to be consistent. Uh, I mean, in the company needs to have a philosophy that it, it will always organize the pricing in the same way because it has, if at some point we want to change something that we, I mean, for example, a, a company that, uh, that start charging for some new features of our, some existing features and adding some extra fees for existing features and that people have built projects using these uh, features that get some extra fees, you can just explode some business models built on your own tool. So the pricing is very important and uh, you, you need to manage it uh, to protect all the all your ecosystem and all the people, the developers who built something on your platform. This is uh, the last slide to sum up a, a bit the thing. So API uh, as a project is quite powerful, but at the same time it has some uh, negative aspects. But it's, it's if it's well managed, it's only positive. We believe in. And we try to manage it well, the, the best uh, the best we can with all these uh, things I talked about. So it delivers a technology that you don't want to develop on your own. I mean, you can always, but if you want to focus on your project, you don't want to re, re in French, it works in English, reinvent the, the wheel. You don't want to do this. If you know that someone ever handles uh, email delivery perfectly, you want just to plug uh, your app on it and don't manage this to focus on where your added value is. And so this is very powerful in terms of uh, competitivity. At the same time, you need to make sure that, it's that is, it is reliable. Always ask yourself a question. I, I'm repeating but the Twitter uh, API. We, we've talked a bit, uh, we talked about it a lot uh, during these sessions. And this is the main thing. I mean, if you uh, use an API, you must understand how the money is made from the company that is providing it to you. Uh, ideally, not ideally, it must, <laughs> it must rely on a native technology. Because, for example, we have a, na a native technology, but if you are using an API that is relying on another technology, then it's maybe a slave of the other technology that is behind in the, the day that uh, this technology changes or just the pricing, whatever, you, are, you will be impacted. And uh, you should be always be able to have a guarantee to access your data at any time and uh, that you will not pay for your data <coughs> and that it will always be available for you uh, uh, in an unlimited way. And the, the, the last point uh, is fact, it sums up everything. It's just you, you must protect your ecosystem. And uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's very related to what you said before with the Twitter thing. You must really protect your ecosystem and respect it and maybe think about it from the beginning, uh, because otherwise you will just uh, lose the time of a lot of people. Uh, so this is it, I think, is the last slide. Uh, I don't know if you have some questions. If it, uh, I, I didn't try to be exhaustive, but maybe just to think about the concept of API as a product and uh, what it means and uh, how it's different from uh, what uh, was uh, before. <laughs>